All right, you are watching the last roundup horror show. I am Frank. With me, as always, is Jason. Hey, hey, we got uh John Wamsley in the house. Titanic 666. It does not <laughs> deserve that kind of fanfare. I know it does. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> oh, we got some things to talk about, buddy. Uh, <laughs> we got old Ray McGuff in the, in the cut. Yeah. I'm back. <laughs> And Dave Cecil is uh, rocking it in the. What's on your shirt there, buddy? You got to. I, I, it's just a bunch of people. Oh, pay, me like, of... pay me like one of your dead girls, Jack. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And joining us for a full episode this time is Jean Paul Mantia. Uh, so let's just get right into it, buddy. Uh, <laughs> Titanic 666. Did, had you seen this before? Uh, are we talking about me? Yeah. Well, well, I, I would like to first, before we do this, um, I would like to <laughs> thank uh, John Wansley's wife for giving oh. me a, a wonderful inspiration it's and, choosing, <laughs> and choosing this movie called Titanic 666 because right. she, she once told me this wonderful story of what she used, used to do to a roommate every Saturday morning. It's called Getting Served. I just served you all oh, yeah. with this movie. <laughs> Serve them up Saturdays. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Serve them up Saturdays. I like it. it. I like she, it. She made them watch a terrible movie every Saturday. Yep. Every Saturday, mm -hmm. she'd make people watch terrible movies. I'm very into that. But not this great. terrible. They wouldn't. I mean, watch. there's fun, bad, and there's bad, bad. And this is that. See, that one. this is that. We'll, one. we'll get into this. <laughs> is it I really was it that watchable? Okay, let's <laughs> let's let's start off. Okay, so you, this is a Tubi original made by uh, Asylum Films. Yeah, the worst okay. production company okay. that's ever. We done all anything. know what Asylum does. Transmorphers <laughs> is what they do. That's right. They do Transmorphers. Now, and before they we do... get it, did they do? They, is this a sequel to Titanic Two? Because this they made is Titanic the sequel too. to Titanic Two. That is oh, correct. Okay. okay, that is Maybe. why this is Titanic oh, Three. All right. Yeah, they did. They mentioned it six, somewhere. Six, six. There was well, they, there was some in the dialogue that this. The is name Titanic of the boat three, is Titanic which, Three. Right. Right. Which threw me off. And, right. You know. And just knowing uh, their that, shitty that least, back catalog. That was at least my worries with this shit. So <laughs> so yes. Okay. Come on. I mean, you guys are gonna dog the the the, the special effects. Gonna dog the production. The acting. But come the on. The camera work. The but story. come on. We knew going in with as soon as that Asylum logo comes on, you either get Asylum's I gave, greatest hit of uh, Sharknado, or you get Transmorphers. Movie? Yeah, is that's that, Asylum. Oh. Well, I mean, they they use the, they use well, that recycle, yeah. that recycle CGI blood squib that they love oh, to yeah. use in every oh, single yeah. Asylum. Well, let's let's dive into it then. Let's Frank. dive into it. Yeah. So. This just came out hot off the presses. Uh, a summary dark forces from the deep rise to the surface, terrorizing all aboard the Titanic three and threatened to repeat one of history's greatest disasters written by Jacob Cooney, who uh, wrote three headed shark attack, five headed shark attack and flight six, six, six also written by Jason white who did Scarecrow from 2002, if you remember that, um, from the video stores, <laughs> and uh, Death Club 20, 2022, and Demon Pride, I guess, whatever those are. Directed by Nick Lyon, who uh, did Species, The Awakening, uh, Rise of the Zombies, and Isle of the Dead. Jason, did they release this in any way? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I couldn't find any tagline. I mean... Um, a species I awakening one... since the third or fourth species movies that was a sci-fi original if i remember right mm. in in the the it's i think no it's the fourth because who's the, the who's the director for this film nick lyon yeah so this guy was a side like he clearly did a bunch of sci-fi channel movies like i think that was in his wheelhouse i briefly looked at his wikipedia and it is it is rough but I mean, that's what uh, Asylum does. Yeah, the, yeah, Asylum was the was the probably the main production company of sci-fi. Yeah, I think it and was one of they, until Universal decided to to buy well, them out, and now and, you oh know, yeah, they're just now, Roger Cormaning it up, you know, like exactly, just, just 
just filling uh, them out, man. Jason, back to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so, so what was the last to be original that we watched? Hellblazers. That's why I gave this so much credit. Okay. Much, yeah. much. Well, okay. That was uh, uh, RJL, whatever. That was a way different production. Yeah. That's oh, a different yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's yeah, 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 the, the low tier sure. uh, Lionsgate. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I, yeah. I, I did not see any physical media. It will be though. Asylum releases everything. Oh no, this movie's coming out in Walmart in a couple. Yeah, weeks. it'll be in my <laughs> yeah. store. It's I will. Five dollar bin and, and Walmart. When and the just a bucket of shit. Like, That's right, uh, the bucket of shit. Yeah. Stick it'll your hand like, in. <laughs> Surprise! Like eight bucks. I got gum. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, the cast. Um, there's a couple highlights here I want to talk about. Keisha Sharp who plays the captain. She's evidently a regular on that Empire series. I've never watched it. Um, and she played oh. Murtaugh's wife on the Lethal Weapon TV show. Yeah, she was, she was really was great. Good. Uh, yeah. So that seems a little above oh, this. that was a show. Now, here's one that Dave messaged me about earlier. Uh, Lydia Hurst. Do you guys know who she is at all? She's a millionaire. Her, her, Hearst she's would, an heiress. Hearst would be oh, the, like the would Hearst? Be the, uh, yeah. Would be the, yes. the, the famous Hearst? Yes. She's married to Chris yes. Hardwick. Oh. Yes. She's married to Chris she is Hardwick. a her family like, citizen owns a Kane castle. Hurst. <laughs> oh, wow. yes. Why would she be in this movie? Why would she ever? He says she's big into horror movies, but so am I. She is. She is. She, <laughs> she is. I honestly like. She's always like made herself like she presents herself as an actress, and I what? have no idea why she would accept a project like this. Like because it is she? like she was uh, the one she, that was she was the witch. The she was like the crone. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think I read her thing. Yeah. And it, she was the one that touched IMDb the violin. The guy was like, "Don't touch my violin." Shit. Yeah, she's like yeah. some sort of supermodel. Oh wow. Yeah. So yeah. So that's Chris. She doesn't ever oh, have no. to work again ever in her life. Her family. So her, what else is she gonna do? Let's go be in a movie. I guess right. be in a better one. She could <laughs> buy her model. way into a better movie. She than was. This. <laughs> she was in the cabin fever. Whatever was. Uh, it was like the third or fourth sequel sequel of Cabin Fever. Road Rash. And then she, she yeah, I think it, I'm not, I'm not sure which one. I know she was in a Cabin Fever movie. And there's very other similar like direct to DVD, very like schlocky horror pictures mm. that she decided to be into. And that's just so strange to me. Yeah, and like, just... like, yeah, I mean, maybe she loves it, but like, like, come on, come she, on, like, you got connections, girl. Fun. She what doesn't do have mean? connections. Her net worth is yeah. one hundred million dollars. She can yeah, make a gonna, movie. She can do it yeah, better than by the she yeah. yeah, yeah. If she loves horse it's so much, she so could go wild. hire. She could handpick the she best could buy people. Asylum. <laughs> yeah, she could buy <laughs> asylum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but the the last thing I, I have is uh, Annalyn McCord, who I remember her from Nip Tuck. Um, she, she was did. also in the 90210 reboot. I missed that one, but <laughs> <laughs> um, she, she was a, a huge role in that one. She uh, plays a really annoying character in this, and uh, I was pulling for them to die first. Unfortunately, it was by force magic. Like <laughs> every, <laughs> every other kill in this is almost every kill in this is force mad, like force powers used <laughs> to kill uh, people, but it. Like this movie, you would think was made in the early 2000s if it weren't for her character live streaming all the time, which is a, a character th that I always hate. When they have a character that's live streaming or doing something that is marking it in this shitty time period, I hate it. <laughs> I just don't like it. At I think all. that's also so you gave like... it a strike right away. Now, oh, well, yeah, there's a lot of strikes right no, no, away. Okay, before I mean... we move on, because we're going to stay with her for a second. I sent you a fun little clip of her oh, talking yeah. about the role. Do you have it? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm going to be streaming everything off of uh, uh, YouTube because the <laughs> the sites I used to download uh, have been getting shut down a lot. Okay. So, um, this is a hilarious clip, in my opinion, of of how excited she was to get this role. Okay, let's see here. Okay. <laughs> which is why I did Titanic 666. So I fell in love with the film Titanic, decided I wanted to be an actress 
as a result and <laughs> also went down it. a rabbit hole <laughs> for an entire year as a 10 year old learning every fact there was to know about the original titanic its history it's making like the the maiden voyage all the things and so when i was offered the film i, I didn't even read the script i literally was just like um yes i will be doing this movie my team's like you should read the script first just to, i was like nope no 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 i'm doing this movie my inner child was like that's amazing <laughs> and i we drove up to the queen mary which is where where we filmed it and i was just like my inner child was literally going like what it was just so much fun so not even read the script this is what is so amazing <laughs> well, no, and, of this and actress. no method acting either okay so first, this is what cracks about this actress this, this is that, she, that human being I is that Annalyn quick, mccord yeah i want a quick yeah. poll uh do you think that's pills or um or just <laughs> drunk no no, <laughs> that's no i think that's i think that's, that's just good her. salesmanship that's the thing that's about good this salesmanship girl. I don't that's know. the thing that's just if, money. If you go down the rabbit hole of this this actress, which again I followed her because I did like that 90210 reboot, and <laughs> she plays the total bit. Yeah, I don't care. I'll fucking call myself. Hey man, out. you like whatever you like. I'm I like whatever I like. It. That's right. <laughs> the, what, what's crazy is you go down the rabbit hole of this actress. Okay, she's met the Dalai Lama not once, not twice, but half a dozen times. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> she thinks she's higher than anybody in the world. She seems you higher heard, than anybody you, in the world. You heard in the beginning where she said, I, when I was homeschooled at age 10. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, the thing about her character in the movie is it reminds me of the couple in the Banana Splits movie who do that better. The, I, I agree. You know what I'm talking about? I, I a, agree with you. And that's, it, 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 but again, this this movie, it, 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 if like I said, if you take aside the whole, hey, we're live streaming and all of that, this is a '90s horror film, or well, this is a a typical, hey, don't step on the Indian burial ground, or <laughs> bad shit's gonna happen to you. The spirits are gonna come and attack you. That's the the underlying basis of this movie. Mm -hmm. And that's why I really enjoyed it because you enjoyed this. I do. You, you have you have got yourself convinced. I, there's no <laughs> other. This is like when people eat like um dude like vegan I, food and they're like no this no no is no, no, no just no. like <laughs> the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I this is just food. like turkey. This but, is like a bacon. This is but, a bacon. But but but, but am like I saying it. am I saying this is the greatest horror film I've seen in a long time? Bottom ten. Fuck no. Bottom ten. Fuck For no. what we've done on this show. Bottom ten. Bottom ten. <laughs> it, yeah, man. It was really unwatchable. But but it really did it was. serve my it's purpose? Did it serve my purpose? Were you all served? Well, were you all like, well, oh, well hey, how about once in a while we watch something platter. we all like, John Paul? <laughs> 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 served I, on hey, a silver. The platter, next right? time, I promise. The next time I come on your show, yeah, what, what I will. You I will bring other? you something <laughs> you enjoy. I've got a couple of fun trailers that I think you might enjoy. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah. But let's first review the movies. Yeah. Let's yeah. do that. Um, the, first 20, <laughs> the first 20 minutes are boring as fuck. Uh, then we're treated to one of the longest, cringiest rituals out of any movie that I've ever seen. And Lydia Hurst's del delivery is just a harsh treatment on the old eardrums isn't it i mean <laughs> she's just screeching through that whole why is it so long too i don't understand it's I, 90 uh, minutes <laughs> the, the, I just, <laughs> uh, not the movie the ritual oh the ritual okay. the ritual takes forever it's like 15 of those 90 i agree, I agree. <laughs> uh, there, there was definitely parts of this movie that I, i'm just like come on let's move on a lot of it uh, <laughs> I, uh i'm not a fan of the way they digitally remove the eyes of ghosts and shitty movies like this it's way more work than it's worth put some cheap contacts in it'll be way more effective or do nothing just make them look black and white or whatever the I was going to say practical as opposed put to some, CG is definitely better for But some of that dust that Rob Zombie puts on him put that on him and then that's fine right put a little smoke machine in They also good. CG they CG generated an engine room and a uh, a yeah, life preserver budget. at one point Yeah like, it would cost like, 10 why? bucks it's like <laughs> whole, it's, it's like <laughs> asylum it looks, asylum yeah, but, yeah it's asylum yeah, but why, why CGI a life preserver? I don't know. Have someone on the other side fucking banging it? I don't know. 
Because it costs, because it's easier to just type it on. Those, to a, I bet a those are expensive. Than it is to to buy. If you're one. looking for a, a for a for a big nice what, outsourcing real one, animation. Yeah, wow. you either got to make it out of I nothing, bet- <laughs> or or you got to buy a real one. And I bet is there expensive. a budget? Is there budget info on this movie? There's not I much am- info at all. Okay. No, um, there, there is. No, there isn't. isn't. No, but um, I was even looking for a budget. But it, it, I mean, well, guessing what what would we guess? <laughs> Ten, like a hundred ten thousand ten thousand bucks oh come on i'd say more than that all right i'm, I'm gonna say like two million i was, yeah, I was like, like, this, this is totally yeah. low, low that's tier. closer that's closer yeah low yeah, tier this maybe is, this maybe 1.5 ish one of yeah 1.5 i like that yeah, yeah. And, and again but, yes we know that this is going to end up in walmart at the five dollar bin it's going to end well, up in sci-fi Sunday. channel probably this fall it'll be on one of those four pack of movies that's yeah oh like, shit hey, Check it yeah. out. So <laughs> I, I Googled it. The budget, at least for Titanic 2, was 500000 Okay. So this is <laughs> so, probably two seventy five. Yeah. <laughs> you think they got yeah. more for this one or less? I think it got yeah. less. <laughs> wow. Oh, no, wow. Man. We, could, we totally overshot it. <laughs> so see, look, that's a compliment, right? Like we, There you go. We're paying well, you a compliment. Had, they must have had a million and a half for Boy, it. Boy, they made this look like nope. a couple million. <laughs> they also didn't have any stars in it. <laughs> look, it had 90210 oh. girl. Well, she certainly oh, yeah, thinks yeah. she's a star. That's for you sure. You know, that's what I'm saying. She thinks I she's thought Anna Lynn McCord was like the name of in it. Yeah, I mean, it is. I it had is. no idea about Lydia Hurst. That's just. Yeah. Yeah. She built well, out on that. And, and, and I don't know if you noticed. Throughout the movie, Lee Hurst's character, Preggers, not Preggers, Preggers. <laughs> oh, no. I yeah, they, they tried really. Anything. There's a couple scenes. Oh, She's man. just like, there's nothing that, here to see, guys. That actually, yeah. that tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but basically, all the CGI shit looks like it came out of Polar Express. I, I fucking hated it. Oh, no. See, so that's, that's. You thought it was that way. good? That's too good. Yeah. <laughs> That's that is, again ow. this is 90s this is food 90s fight. horror food fight cgi uh <laughs> i thought there was some good stuff and terrible stuff happening during the violin player sequence that's the only time where i was like there's some cool editing going on here and it was just all the editing it was the way that they kind of flickered the ghost standing around it was like something you know i was trying to come up with something kind of give it a silent hill sort of vibe but god uh I have to see. I, my favorite parts were the, the, the end. The end with the commotion as they're leaving the lifeboats and all that. That was some cool shit. <sighs> no, okay. Too little, too mm. late. Uh, the first moment I enjoyed in this thing was the beheading of the maintenance guy in the bowels of the ship, um, <laughs> because it's the first actual kill in the fi- uh, film. Uh, the other two were force killed. You know, whatever happened right there. uh right. and it looks kind of cool for what it is um it's the first time i appreciated anything in this movie uh they missed an opportunity here uh everybody knew it was going to be bad they should have leaned into it made it like way less serious these people were trying to make a good movie i believe um uh they should have amped up the camp and did the actors not know they were in a bad movie that's the real question because they I mean, were you saw that interview no. she was excited to be in titanic no, man. didn't bother no. to read the script <laughs> but we needed a lot more of that ending shit we needed a lot more people getting smashed with lifeboats we needed a lot more crazy shit like sharknado level stuff well i mean but, it's also there's parts of this movie kind of gives me uh vibes of like ghost ship <laughs> I yeah, mean, I could see it. You know, Ghost, Ghost Ship, it. He, Ghost yeah. Ship even had some cheese to it. Ghost Ship no, has, like Ghost, has a good beginning. Like One of the much best. Better. I I understand Ghost Ship's uh, far far Ghost superior. Rules. Ghost Ship rules. Yeah, and and Ghost well, Ship also came from a real studio. <laughs> Ghost Ship it has that sure. good beginning, right? Is that what we're talking about? Where yeah, yeah, yeah. Good beginning, oh, and then yeah. nothing else Great happens, beginning. right? Like no, it's like one of the best. Oh yeah, they blew their wad up right into opener. They're like, listen, yeah. this is how it's gonna be. This is how it's gonna be. Yeah, right. Enjoy right. it. It was this is what aware. this is our budget right yes. here. Everything <laughs> else is just our contract. <laughs> totally. yeah. But I, I guess my main issue with this movie overall is I don't know who the target demographic is. It's not fans of the '90s Titanic film. 
it's not for fans of ghost movies it's not for fans of film in general i'd wager i think the only people who might enjoy this thing are people who enjoy all movies because there's color and there's sound <laughs> happening at the same time um but it's not, it, was, it's, it was definitely a movie it's not the bottom of the barrel this isn't dream maniac or streets run red or the oregonian even uh the writing's bad the acting's even worse and the makeup effects are like early sci-fi channel um it's a three for me so that's um, you 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 you, you uh, gave it higher than what what i thought you was going to there yeah. I'll, I'll make this quick not a lot to say about this at least nothing good the, the acting's bad uh, the story's even dumb for what it is like you, i see titanic 666 i'm expecting like a little bit of humor like i'm you know it's not going to be a good movie, so at least entertain me. And this was neither. Uh, the effects are bad. It looks like it could be an app on a phone. Like I've I've seen just as good of stuff. I've looked way cooler as a zombie or some some my kid has done. Um, unfortunately, I had to waste ninety minutes of my Saturday on this. Uh, ne- this is something I never would have watched if I didn't have to watch it for this. Um, definitely won't be watching it again this is a a void do not recommend do not watch skip it uh i agree with frank it's it's not the worst that we've seen on here but it might be in the top or the bottom 10 of the movies i I I feel honored (laughs) it's a two for me john yeah so i knew as soon as i saw the asylum logo i was like all right strap in let's let's endure let's endure it took me three times to watch it me too because i fell asleep yep during like two of them it's like I woke NyQuil. Up. <laughs> yeah it, yeah it's it's a it's a comfort film it was it's like you asked who needs to see this movie somebody who can't watch a lecture on youtube if you want to fall no. asleep like you ate six pounds of mashed potatoes, watch watch this Take fucking movie. It <laughs> it's the food coma of horror. Drink some Benadryl, shit. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I knew I knew what the effects were gonna look like, you know. I but I, it was very generic. It was like they took maybe the base model in some whatever program, dirtied them up a little bit did a little bit of mesh editing and then you get your ghost i the whole you know oh, i'm gonna freeze you out with my with my forced breath and stuff the <laughs> violin thing was cool i that you were right that was cool honestly and um the acting didn't really get on my nerves that was the one thing that i thought was all right i was like all right they're really trying and none of them's None of it's coming off as hokey to me. Mm. I was like, all right, you know, it's a it's a B movie. So, but they're acting not too bad. You know, there's see, there's way you, worse acting. He's being nice. He's being nice. No, I mean, <laughs> all I'm saying is it didn't get on my nerves. Mm. It didn't get on my nerves. So it's not like I'm I'm watching a bad movie, but at least maybe something will happen. Um, I didn't get the whole. Lydia Hurst's revenge is it, is that all it is? She was just getting revenge for her grandparents and Very much. desecrating Very much. Her, the, yeah. the great grandparents again. It's it's the whole just like in real life. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's the whole stepping on 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 and burial grounds. It's it's, okay. it's the same cliche uh, that you've seen before. I just felt I just really felt like with a name like six 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 demons would show up. Satan. or so, Yeah, yeah, or something. Some, yeah. Not just ghosts. I don't, care, I don't care if they were CG, bad CG demons. You know what you're getting. It's the asylum. Mm-hmm. They're nuts. <laughs> right, right. And that's it. That's all we need. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you're going to watch this, it's the asylum. You know what you're getting. You're getting Sharknado style stuff. So watch it if you want. Don't watch it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not recommending it. Uh, but I ended up giving it a three. I gave it a three as well. It was 
definitely not the worst thing we, I've ever seen, but it took me three times to watch it. Mm-hmm. And and by the time I made it to the end, I was like, what? what? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally not worth it. Uh, Ray? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you guys hit all the points. I, I won't spend too much time. Terrible CGI, awful acting, stupid plot. Uh, you know, typing on a laptop to uh, stop the core from melting. A laptop that clearly has nothing to do with the core melting <laughs> just <laughs> ridiculous bullshit uh overall i hated it until the last 30 minutes and i liked that everybody died <laughs> <laughs> and i was like Boy, we're gonna know, hit the iceberg i'll give it a, I'll give it a four <laughs> out of ten they, at least uh, spoiler alert <laughs> it, it, yeah it was not something i would normally watch um uh, but uh you know it what it is what it is i killed like like uh jason said i killed 90 minutes on my saturday so <laughs> john paul keeps, do, keeps doing that to you doesn't he like yeah he, he just he had a whole show and that's what he did every episode uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> oh but uh dave i mean i don't necessarily want my time want my life reimbursed for watching this <laughs> but uh i don't think anyone should endure this at all it's, it was fucking trash i mean i like i i tried to i tried to mine some gems from it um did anyone catch the uh that uh bald corporate security guy oh yeah so i had a couple things about what he looked like uh <laughs> i had a male tilda swinton uh, All right. Derek, Mir- Derek Mears with an IV meth problem <laughs> uh, grew from despicable me when the minions fuck with him too much <laughs> and David Bowie but instead of making music he listens to Joe Rogan <laughs> perfect nice yeah uh, that guy fascinated me I don't know why like they obviously picked him because he looked strange and like he only had certain parts in the movie, and that's like the only thing that I, I was like, that guy looks really fucking weird. So one of the uh, check movies. out the show. Check out the is, show. Is Banshee. he really? Oh, if you okay. have, if you ever seen it, check out the show Banshee. It's a, like a crime uh, good. thing. All right. I will. Yeah, I will. he was. He, he was words? that. He was that albino inmate. Yes, he was. Yeah. Fucking with that guy. Yes, he cool. was. He kept fucking with that guy. So All right. and, he was like. Really albino. He's super pale, and he was well, yeah, fucking yeah. jacked the, in that. Guy looked like a maniac. I mean, <laughs> now you make me want to see I him. him. I <laughs> thought he was dude. I thought he did all right. I you say, was, yeah, no, he's, he's fine. Hard. He just looked fucking weird, man. Like that was yeah. just like that guy looks. That guy I think is he very also interesting. Has, I'm glad I think they he might also have movie. alopecia. You like saying you saying know. that he he looked really albino makes me want to see a guy who's He's just kind of just a little dude. He uh, looks like albino. fucking powder. I just got he the was that white. He looked like the albino powder. eyeballs. He was also and... about. I mean, he was, he was bald Caucasian. Like, he was like, jacked, but he... also like skinny. He looked fucking weird. I don't know, man. He looked like that guy. <laughs> yeah. He'd, yeah, he'd be a good. He'd be a good like monster type creature yeah and my my <laughs> other question is do you think james cameron knows about this movie oh 100 percent, he does not oh, yeah. <laughs> well no he I does not i promise you someone sent him the trailer yeah, yeah. <laughs> like i'm sure he's aware he just doesn't care like he's he's I mean, obviously not making avatar money. right now yeah, yeah, he's really yeah. busy making a sequel, five sequels yeah. to a movie nobody gives a shit about anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. What do you, What do you think? What do you think he's doing right now? Like literally right now. So he's probably I going for like, this episode to come out. I he's assume like, it's in yeah. LA. It's like seven p.m. in LA. He's either he's making a grilled cheese sandwich or. He ain't like, making shit for himself. He's, he's, he's in an aquarium rich. right now. Just he's in an watching. aquarium filming the yeah. next three he's, Avatar movies. Yeah. He's watching Jellyfish. Just oh, they're so good, out. though, aren't they, though? Like, the first <laughs> one was so good. And then this new one's going to be great. I think we can all agree. We'll all be there. 
in person. No, no, I will be there in person. No, I literally will. I no, I will stream it. I never even watched the first one. I just think it's funny how anytime it comes up, there's always that guy that's like, it's brilliant. <laughs> like, yeah. All right, I well. saw it in 3D and it was awesome. I, when it was re-released with the extra footage, I thought it was cool. It was a really cool cinematic experience. So yeah. I really dug that, but fuck you, Unobtainium. Fuck That's you. The that is the worst thing I goddamn name or something. Is fuck I had never with seen. my favorite actor in the world, Giovanni Ribisi. I, I love never... him. He's amazing. Do He's you? A great okay. actor. Yeah. After this, I we're going to play a fun God. game. <laughs> I've oh, never boy. seen I've never seen a, a 3D movie since that looked like that. Mm -hmm. uh, do they even make 3D Gravity. movies anymore? Uh, Gravity I don't even know, is the best 3D movie. Gravity was close, but but the thing about Avatar is it was like watching a through a window. It had layers. <laughs> uh, Gravity had parts like that, but <laughs> like, it, it like a an movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like an onion. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, let's get back on care. the yeah, track. All right. All right. And then my next, all right, so it's not even about the movie, but this is also about Tubi, like this movie being a Tubi original. Um, I, like Tubi has an Alexandria-like library. It's a behemoth in streaming. Come on, guys. We all know it, you know? <laughs> uh, and I figured anyone that is a Tubi user is a Tubophile. Oh, hey. And we should all be, um, we, sh we should all be put on a that list. Lands. <laughs> Tubi files? Come on. Come on. I'm sorry, Dave. No, it sounds I want to like my horn. Sounds like Tubi something weird. What's your rating of the movie, Dave? <laughs> uh, like like a point five. Oh, all right. wow. I hate I hate uh, it. Shit. I'm no, sorry. Wow. John Paul, go ahead. Tell okay. us. Yes. Tell us okay. I, I want to know what you gave it, because Jesus. Okay, so I, like I said, I, I, I enjoyed this movie. I didn't say it was the greatest movie ever. <laughs> but again, like everybody, we've talked about it. It's Asylum. We know going in what this is going to be. Wow. And, and, and again, out of 10, is this a 10? Absolutely not. Is this, is this anywhere an 8 or a 7, a, a 6? A, no. This is like a 4.5. Uh plain and simple it's a it's a four and a half yes do i also agree that some of the cgi because after a while it got really um, old really fast yes <laughs> but there's just i don't know there's just something about like cheesy 90s like schlock that this i enjoy this year i understand <laughs> i understand we're living we are currently living in 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 a time <laughs> where people reminisce of 20 years ago when we were kids, yeah, make a they psycho were, gourmet. They were trying to make a that's what you know. No, no, psycho gourmet is 80s. That's different. Right, okay, I get, what, I get make it. a fucking Dr. Giggles. What the hell? Right. <laughs> I mean, and, and and I get I guarantee that Asylum has a version of Dr. Giggles. No, or something they don't. They have a version like of that. Dr. Goggles, and it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> Dr. Goggles. But, but yeah, okay. It's, it's, yeah, it's a four and a half. It's not like, again, the ending, the, the last 30 minutes are the most enjoyable parts of this movie. Um, I also really did enjoy Captain Rose. It, she, I think mean, she was the best actress best, out best, of, yeah. of, of, sure. all, of all of them in this movie. Definitely. Um, but yeah, will I watch this movie again? No. Why did they make her look like such a dipshit though i don't because, know because they I mean, put on that big stupid hat yeah and like, like for why why i I, that, I agree with you my my other like major gripe and, and and i don't know if we got when they kept saying corporate this and corporate that i don't know why but it just bothered me because it it, it got me back to like when i used to work at, at you know call centers or whatever and they'd say hey you have to do this because corporate tells you to oh, and i'm like yeah. fuck you that would also be more interesting if they explored that like, right but they're not going to explore know? corporate yeah yeah <laughs> corporate is know. asylum themselves saying hey the budget's know. getting kind of high do something yeah, yeah. <laughs> i bet i bet right. the corporate entities at the asylum <laughs> are the worst fucking people <laughs> and you know that's just speculation but i bet if you look at the top of asylum there's some guy with just a big marble desk sitting there like 
we're putting too much money into these goddamn motion pictures. <laughs> yeah. Probably it's a, a descendant cigar. of Roger Corman or Charles yeah. Band. Come on. Yeah. Like the bad version, like the the the, the Gonzo version of yeah. uh, <laughs> do it again, but only make it less interesting. <laughs> less interesting. <laughs> <laughs> With less intensity. If they're awake, they'll know it's bad. If they fall asleep, we'll still have their money. <laughs> but exactly you didn't pay for this that's the that's yeah. the thing oh i well, did well, not pay for this it would be my first letter, letter writing be. experience if i, I paid for it with my soul so yeah <laughs> yeah Bad yeah we money. all paid for it we all watched it for, for yeah. one 119 minutes Hey, all, all I have to do is thank John Wansley's wife again for inspiring me to serve you all. Well, <laughs> what did you thank do? you very much? Sir. What did you, you thank you for your service? Four point five. All right. Yeah. Again, all right. It's not. It's not. It's, I knew what this was going to be. I knew hey. what this was going to be. Exactly. <laughs> we all did. Yeah. Right. But um, <laughs> let, let's move right into another torturous uh, enjoyment for John Paul, uh, Trailer Trash. Trailer Trash. Woo! Woo! All right. So let me let me let me pull up my notes to set this up for you guys. <sighs> so I'll, I'll give you a little background on this first one. So I totally forgot about this movie, and recently I I, I watched the uh, Nicolas Cage uh, Unbearable Weight movie. Very, very great movie, and it made me think of this movie. Nicholas Cage is not in this movie that I'm oh, that okay. I'm sharing with you, but it made me think Nicholas Cage would be perfect for the lead role of this uh, young virgin who, uh, over time, never gets laid, and he just stays a vampire. Uh, Rockula. <laughs> Anybody remember this? With chainsaw I've, from us. Uh, oh, uh, Dean School. Cameron's in it. That's right. I don't Ooh. think I've seen it, but like, or maybe I have. I don't know. Well, check this out. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> He's shy. Misunderstood. <laughs> I love Dean what Cameron. Do do? I'm a vampire. <laughs> have you ever seen one of these before? 18th century, right? And he hasn't scored in 400 years. Man, that's <laughs> cool, got the blue. He just met <laughs> a perfect girl <laughs> and lost her for the 14th lifetime in a row. Just forget the fact that we are the oldest living virgins walking the planet. But <laughs> all that is about to change. You always die on Halloween night of your 22nd year. <laughs> because if the <laughs> sold his soul, <laughs> he still couldn't rock and roll. I don't think I'm a vampire. I really am a vampire. <laughs> like Rockula. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, fucking oh, my God. Hell, yeah. <laughs> hell, yeah. Hell, <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's like a booger from Revenge of the Nerds. I think maybe you just need some therapy, Ralph. And it's their one last chance. I love you. You love me. If you don't listen to me, you're going to die. For romance. I thought it was kind of cute. I'm back! Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah, There's, it's the 90s. You gotta rap. You got to rap in the 90s. What the hell? Rockula. Rockula. Does anybody go bowling anymore? Oh wow. I mean, Whoa. couldn't you picture Nicolas Cage in that same role? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> I, I just say. No, honestly, I was picturing Harry Shearer the whole time. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a John Stamos. I think I look so much like Harry Shearer. What else was he in? Like ski school or some shit like that? that yeah. He's in okay, summer school. He's in uh, summer school yeah. playing okay. chainsaw. And ski okay. yeah. It's been yeah. a long time. And long ski time. school, yeah. Sure. And 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 if you you can message him on Facebook and he'll reply back to you. He's a good what would guy. I say he's really though? Cool. Yeah, he's really cool. What would what I, I say? Did? To him? I'm like, uh, hey, I, I forgot like you were in ski awesome. school. <laughs> hey, I someone forced me to watch your trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> has right, anyone ever told you? Has anyone ever told you you look like Harry Shearer from, <laughs> from comedy? <laughs> All right. All right. So, <laughs> like I said, uh, I don't know. It was just a, a, a fun whims for you guys i saw and that on on scream factory or shout whichever one of those i i saw it's 
might be going out of print soon. Um, I actually I bought might, it. Yeah. It, it is going out of print, but but our friends at Tubi do have it as well. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> if well, it, if it go. interests you, our All friends right. at I'm Tubi, in. I want to check it out. Got it for I'll you. I'll probably yeah, so pass our, on our that. Our corporate partners at Tubi. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Our our followers at Tubi. Okay, so this. The second one I, I, I had to share. Um, so, I mean, I take a chance on, on a lot of like new horror that I spend the two ninety nine dollars to rent. And I have to say, this movie was pretty badass. <laughs> um, I'm just going to have you just show the trailer and see what you guys take is on it. All right, let's see. Now you see we have many different plans, all great value, but the Platinum is the most popular and most comprehensive. While it might feel like you have your whole lives ahead of you, the reality is, oh, you don't. We'll go with the Platinum package. Fantastic. Unless you get your sales numbers where I need them to be, I may have to rethink your employment here at CAST altogether. That sale. No stress, we'll get the next one. You gotta watch where you're going. You came out of nowhere. Sorry. I need your insurance info. I don't have insurance. Beautiful home. <laughs> Let's go take a look at that basement. We can't help you if you don't let us. No one can help you now. Exactly. Wait, what? <laughs> Grandma says it's your time. You're under our roof now? We mustn't treat them any differently than the others. Here at Cats Insurance, we understand that life is priceless. Grandma has an order to maintain. The sooner you accept that, the more comfortable you'll be. I think he's going to kill us both if we don't kill him first. I have no interest in his life insurance policy. I just, I want him back. Great. Can we get that in writing? <laughs> You're committing fraud. No, hey, we that's, uh, are committing fraud. That's what the dude from the office. Yes. yes, it is. It's nothing personal. It feels kind of personal. You must either eat or else be eaten. Woo! I'm just a regular guy who loves endurance. <laughs> David Wallace. That looks really good. That yeah. looks fun. I, I, I was yeah, surprised yeah, how yeah. really good it was. And I just All solely right. went on that trailer and I'm like, okay, sold, spent the two ninety nine, and yeah, it's worth it. When was it released? It uh it was just released like a month and a half ago. Oh, that sucks because it got buried. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just I'm, sure it's good. I'm, I'm definitely gonna 66. check it out. But yeah, <laughs> I, I mean I'm sure it'll eventually hit some streaming service, but you can, you know pay the rental and it's worth it all right so, that yeah. looks cool. that looks cool yeah yeah like it, it's got a fun little twist at the end that i don't want to mm. give away and i'm glad <laughs> the trailer didn't so all right cool. yeah. nice all right so sticking with tradition my final trailer has to be a promo film and and frank i have to thank you for this because i made it you're no welcome. no no because you know <laughs> we we had fun with orgasmo uh Oh yeah. Ago. Oh yeah. And it made me think of this wonderful gem by Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Yeah, I've definitely probably made Jason and Randy watch this before. I so. love this movie. Yeah, this Jean is, Paul made me watch it once too. Yeah. I this like is Cannibal show. the Musical. Yeah. You can't go wrong. No, I have not watched it. I've seen this. <laughs> it's great, Jason. Jason, Will you have not, not watched watch this? it. <laughs> yeah, it's, on, it's honestly if you like orgasmo it's along that sense of humor um, i don't but what no. they found? Can't really <laughs> come on really. it's a tradition of, of uh friday the 13th part two you gotta turn it up it's all the way up <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like it's uh, gonna have much sound anyways <laughs> I'm Alfred Packer. This is my horse, Leanne. 
In the tradition of Friday the 13th, part two, and Oklahoma comes the first <laughs> intelligent film about cannibalism. It's the Donner Party. Oh, gross, Packer. So let's <laughs> <laughs> I love that song, by the way. <laughs> oh, it's a wonderful song. <laughs> I do love that fucking shit. <laughs> I do like that movie a lot. It's it's very enjoyable. Jason, <laughs> I love the you need to watch it. When he's singing about... Uh... He won't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, got, it's got a lovely ditty called When I Was On I Top Of You. It. <laughs> well, we were talking about how I don't really like South Park anymore, and I do enjoy oh, the so Trey funny. Parker and Matt Stone um, live action movies, Basketball, Orgasmo, and that one. That's like the trifecta uh, of there, Team like, America. Come on, I hate oh, that shit. Team, I love. I, really? that, I don't like the puppet because because I hate puppets. Overall, I hate. Yeah, puppets. but if you if, if you look at the nuance of the puppets. It's fucking incredible. It I mean, really, like, if you look at the nuance insane. of my ball sack, Dave, <laughs> it, it'll really tell a story. But is I, it shaven? Really? Is it shaven? Really? The is nuance it of a, does it have I a mean, I guess like, it does. You can, guess we can either does. tell a story like adult people, <laughs> yeah. or we can have puppets going. Okay. And then we can pretend we're kids again. I his, don't know. Uh, <laughs> their, their new animated special you know that came out, Streaming Wars, is probably back to form of Trey Parker and Matt Stone. The only uh, puppets that I can, I, it's I can get, uh, get behind are puppets I have nostalgic feelings for, or uh, like you know, what Labyrinth. the Muppets? No, you know not, Muppets I never Muppets, fucking right? like. I, know, I never liked the Muppets. I don't. You don't like Meet the Feebles? What the fuck? What the? I don't like Meet the Feebles. I like I like the, certain <laughs> aspects of the of the Muppet universe. You don't like, like, like the Swedish Chef? You don't like fucking animal? Let him talk, Dave. Dave, Dave. Shit, let him get his point across. I agree. Dave's there's angry. A, there's, a million, no, I'm not. No. there's a million things in the universe to watch, right? So am I going to watch fucking hi ho hi ho Am I going to watch that? Or am I going to watch something that's actually fucking funny? Like, I watched yeah. a Pete Holmes special yesterday. Laughed my ass off constantly for the whole fucking thing. Front to back. No Muppet. No Muppet. No Muppet. Not a single one. Unless you consider a Pete Holmes one, which you might. I, I mean. But anyways. He'll be dead in a year. So it's let's all right. Move, let's keep the show moving in a horror direction. Um. We always take side trips. <laughs> uh, let's go to uh, Ray's pick, uh, The Retreat 2020. Um, a man finds himself alone and lost after a horrifying encounter with a monster during a backpacking trip into the Adirondack High Peaks. Now he must fight for his life and sanity as he battles the evil, evil Native American legend, the Wendigo. Uh, written and directed by Bruce Wimple, who I... Uh, didn't see anything recognizable on his IMDb. Jason, did they release this? Yeah, so tagline, there's something waiting in the mountains. It's distributed by Uncorked Entertainment, and I think there was a DVD in 2020, but if there was, it's out of print. You can't find it anymore. Uh, it is That's available on Tubi. <laughs> on Shutter. Just use our special I code. Our good lords at Tubi. Yeah, our special code. Download Tubi for free now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Use the code Creep for free fifteen percent. You don't even off. have. You don't even have to have an account. You can just watch it on there. You can just watch it. No, 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 no. Try to find the code. <laughs> Try to find the code. <laughs> but okay, let's get into this. Uh, this bachelor party of two guys. <laughs> One of which is hung over. Uh, taking a winter hike in the middle of the night is the dumbest thing ever. Dumbest thing ever. To try to convince Jason likes to hike. Would you do this? Not <laughs> no. this, no. Middle well, of the winter no. night. I mean, you like winter? You like the woods? Get out there. I do. The I do. Yeah, I do. But um, we've seen a lot of dumb excursions over the course of this podcast where people, just to get them somewhere, this is the dumbest one, I think. Just middle of the night going out in in the dark in the winter in the mountains asking for trouble uh the i think the writing is really well done in this the conversations seem natural and there's a little bit of light humor that i liked um 
the actors uh, do a surprisingly good job especially considering i'd never heard of any of these people before this um and it, i think it's really nice to see an accurate sort of depiction of uh, hallucinogens because <laughs> even the movie shrooms didn't really depict what conversations are like when you're in that state of mind and when the guy says he was reading a book and then his thoughts started <laughs> yeah. merging with what he was reading i was like yeah this guy's definitely done that before uh <laughs> although it does take these whatever this substance they use in this movie is to like a crazy peyote. a crazy yeah. degree um i think they said it was a mix of like uh it was peyote ayahuasca ayahuasca but it was also liquid so and it was and, like and a, code like red yeah, but, yeah. But, you know. <laughs> code red. yeah yeah that's that's the kicker <laughs> that's the kicker <laughs> that is yeah or, you gotta have that or three locos. All the ingredients off <laughs> the, um, he had three locos not four <laughs> the uh, uh this movie is written and constructed in such a way that i kept thinking there were cool twists happening i'm like that's a cool twist oh that's a cool twist but it wasn't it was all just the th- storytelling of a delusional man in a fucking psychologist's office so they weren't really twists they were just he was out of his mind anyways the whole time um but i did like that um uh yeah i like the whole wendigo thing i haven't seen any other movies that feature a wendigo i know there's one just called wendigo but i've never mm-hmm. seen that um yeah they're 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 taken off it's becoming a like a sub genre oh really point. my Cryptic. only basis I think there was but a t- the w- Wendigo is um oh shoot uh Fessenden. Oh re- yeah, yeah yeah that's that's Larry Fessenden. That's, that's how that's I knew good. that's how I heard of it I think. Yeah it's, it's in that bad. it's in that collection you have isn't it? Um yeah Antlers yeah. Antlers is Wendigo. Antlers was good too. I liked that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen that yet. Um it's cool. That's a, that's the thing that I thought was weird this they keep showing pictures in this movie of a wendigo with antlers but the thing that we see doesn't have antlers and really right well it does sometimes well, i guess yeah when it's a but shadow it you, does. There's, there's there's creatures and then there that silhouette that's the spirit that's the oh. that's the wendigo and okay well yeah yeah i touch on that later and that's its minions yeah. i think that the creatures yes. look really it's minions yes uh the creatures look they're really serviceable um it looks great when they're like lurking, when they're like standing still, sometimes in the shadow, it looks really cool. But when they run on all fours, it literally just looks like a guy running on all fours. It's not wearing, really... wearing, wearing a rubber suit. Yeah. The, a it, there's, there's <laughs> co- the, the, those, the head on those outfits, those costumes, whatever you want to call it. It was a condom it, head. It looked good, but it I don't really think, did. I don't think that if you would have had that thing standing in front of those judges on face off, if it would have pass you know i don't i don't think it would have <laughs> but um yeah if somebody comes running at me <laughs> if somebody comes running at me like that on all fours i'm gonna kick that fucking person in the face that's not even intimidating <laughs> they're a lower status if you're a standing up human man kick that bitch in the face uh, <laughs> but um overall this movie lands at like a six i thought it was very well done but that's compared to the movie i just watched before that i was like <laughs> jesus christ this thing's amazing like i almost wanted to, <laughs> like, you know, just contrasting the two things but it had cool creature design some really cool uh, cinematography i tried to find out if there was somebody else involved with the camera work but there was nobody listed as a cinematographer or camera operator or, anything. or a dp there, there wasn't much on this um there's not much rewatchability for me but um that's because there's no like memorable dialogue um there's not really any interesting kills so to say uh, you know it's like i don't know it's a six jason yes so we got a uh, psychological creature feature this is my second time watching this um straight away for me i, I mean i'm giving it points for atmosphere uh the pan- panoramic shots of the of the, of the forest and there's hiking, there's camping, there's a cabin, there's mountains, there's snow in my horror movies. Like it, it, it's, uh, it gets a lot of points straight away. But um, yeah, so uh, Frank, I, I, I'm with you. A lot of movies miss on the, uh, like the, the drug interpretation. Um, Even shrooms. I think, I think he's <laughs> Don't you yeah, think they, shrooms? They, go, they always go over the top. Yeah. Like, oh. 
it's, we're not even like not even I like mean, in the same realm know. you know yeah i've never i've, I've never experienced that <laughs> like, <laughs> that in my life uh but i think they nailed this um and i yeah i, I find the wendigo lore really interesting I, I i haven't seen a ton of wendigo movies but i um uh, that it, it's appealing story to me i like that um i felt they did a great job the psychological part because sometimes i mean they 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 kind of i don't know maybe i got sucked into certain parts or oh, what, that's the it best part about made, it, you know it, it it kind of messes with your mind just like it would on a trip or just just good psychological movie uh the effects on the creatures i thought was cool uh the wendigo wish wish they would have showed that i wish there at least that revealed itself at the very end um we just kind of got a silhouette of that but it was yeah. still effective uh but i would have liked to have seen it uh yeah good movie uh, they just dropped the ball on the ending for me like the ending is just it's it's not bad enough to discredit all the good that they, they they've done um it, i gave it a seven with a better ending i would have gave it an eight john yeah so I, this was also my second time viewing it I didn't remember a whole lot about it other than it had to do with the Wendigo. Um, <clears throat> but I, I, it wasn't the getting up in the middle of the night and going hiking. It was the getting up in the middle of the night, going hiking and then deciding to trip balls. <laughs> <laughs> like, like and that was more towards the morning and stuff. Like I remember it was like daylight or something, but still you were up for a long ass time. Let's let, let's trip on S from some sketchy dude. Right. <laughs> hey, drink this. That's drink the best this, place dude. to get that shit. I'll be honest. <laughs> and uh, drink this crazy. I have, to, it has, I, have, I have taken that so, sort of substance at night way more times than during the day. So like I've have a lot more of those on a hike. No, I <laughs> you won't see me on a hike. Oh uh, no. Did you go in the middle of the woods? No, no, it's all in this house. No, I don't go outside. What the fuck? It you doesn't about? go outside. Have yes. you been out there? It's hot as shit today. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows what tomorrow will be? The world's crazy right there's, now. There's people out there. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm agoraphobic. Keep me in here. <laughs> <laughs> but um I like I like the acting. I like the special effects. I thought the creature heads it just reminded me of uh, the monster from Amityville 3D, uh, <laughs> I, which I it would not a not a bad thing. They look super weird running on all, all fours. Mm -hmm. That was that was weird. They could have just like they do, but listen, it like, over. You gotta get you gotta yeah. I mean, performance you wise, you know, move I could smoothly cool. with CG or you can have them move a little wonky and do your practice. I would have sped them so up. Give them credit for that. Speed them up a little bit. Make them look weird. Yeah, yeah, shoot them in a slow them down. Or or something. The camera yeah, angles whatever. maybe would have solved it. I don't know. I liked, uh, I liked how they kept the Wendigo basically formless. Like he, he had a, a form, but it was just like it's more of a force of nature than anything. You know, so they just had to kind of personify it a little bit. Uh, but I, I dug the pinholes, the, the pinhole eyes, you know, just the little circles, tiny, tiny circles of light. That was creepy. Eyes, yeah. some <clears throat> eyes are, are creepy, and that was a little bit creepy. Um, the going back and forth, different places, it just, I don't know, M made me lose interest. They were moving around so fast. I was just like, where are you going? <laughs> Fucking give me an answer. Did you eat them? Did you not eat them? Is Christmas real at the end? Like, <laughs> whatever. Are you I've still in questions. the woods tripping? Like, are you still tripping in the woods at this point? And then, uh, bleh, you know. Why, why are there three creatures at the end? end? Which which was wasn't necessary. It was not. It, they sinistered it. I was, so someone answer me why there was three creatures at the end. What's the mm. three creatures? There was the... The Wendigo, the, the minions, the creature. Oh, you minions. mean, yeah, the yeah. Minions? That's the thing. They didn't show the, the minions, Wendigo. And then you have the Wendigo. They didn't show the Wendigo enough for you to even discern that that's that was a different thing. Because I thought, okay, see, that, that, that's, that's, that's my part. My, my one of my problems with this. Movie. I thought all those well. things were Wendigos until 
they just explained it to me and i'm like yeah the deer head thing that you see the shadow that must have been the wendigo well it was also him seeing those portraits of seeing the wendigo i think that was like there were no portraits of other things though right right exactly that's yeah that was differentiating the two but like that wasn't really explicitly said or anything like i get like i don't think a general audience would pick that up yeah, this one. I mean, does he does mention it by name though, right? The Wendigo. Yeah, but yeah, he, he the does. guy he does. in the cabin. Yeah. The, dude the guy in the cabin, cabin does barely right. any details yeah. okay. about it. Yeah, he there's, consumed there's, his wife. Yeah, with, like it's it deals with obviously it deals with cannibalism, and then you would like, think that he, dude would be like slowly take over. You'd think that dude would be like guys for real don't go out (laughs) (laughs) i'm the only one living here for a reason (laughs) my fucking wife (laughs) took my wife Mm -hmm. (laughs) like it ate my dog (laughs) you wouldn't think he'd be like (laughs) you wouldn't think he'd be like kicking back with beers and be like so what you guys doing this weekend (laughs) Uh, two-man bachelor party cool let's all make out (laughs) got room for a third yeah weird (laughs) but um I don't need to watch it a third time. It was okay. I like the scenery. I like the creatures. The acting was good. Um, the story, I'm sure it was good, but I just it lost me. Just the, you know the, the writing's a bit. That was the point. That was the, yeah. but that was the point. It was supposed to be kind of like a trip, with you know. So I, oh, whatever. I gave it a five. Check it out if you want to check it out. It's it's got some high highlights, but yeah. Right. Yeah. I I uh am I next? I forget. Yeah, yep. I uh picked it, you know, so I, I just and I was just going through it random, uh, you know, looking at stuff on on uh shutter and on Tubi and things. So I picked this and I was like, Yeah, hey, this seems interesting. And for that, I was pleasantly surprised. I you guys hit all the points um ominous music i thought the music was kind of ominous that last song wasn't ominous but it was (laughs) that was my favorite part the christmas Uh, song at the end (laughs) yeah but the music itself was was ominous uh it was beautifully shot like jason said i mean it looked crisp and amazing and and frightful when it needed to um the acting was really good for a bunch of unknown people that i never heard of in my life normally you go into something like this and you're like which one's going to be the weakest link (laughs) <laughs> they were all really good right you know so mm-hmm. um i love the lore uh i've seen a couple of movies like like with this stuff i i think this version's a little neater because of the drug aspect you're trying to see it what is it you know what is it a dream within a dream and are they really getting attacked i love i love that it was ambiguous a little at the end i like that kind of stuff so i gave it a seven out of ten as well so <clears throat> dave um yeah i mean the uh like this is a great cryptid movie like in terms of just uh you know just a weird little freak um like i i mean i have yet to see a good mothman movie like a yeti movie jersey devil um this this one this one i was pleasantly surprised with the only thing is is like i feel like the drug narrative is more of a cop-out to make like once once you once you have a character that does drugs like everything becomes either a dream sequence or something that isn't real so you're like kind of playing with what like is the, is this real or is this isn't but um it was good to have like almost like a waking like it wasn't a dream sequence it was like a waking dream sequence where he like instead of it being a dream he woke up from the dream and everything was fine I, I really like that part of it. And I, I like, I wish the characterization with all three of them, well, all two of them, I wish, I wish that bar scene was like much earlier in the movie because then you could actually like characterize like what these people mean to each other. Um, these I think two it dudes. was shot in, I think it was shot in such an out of order fashion and I don't think they had any sort of, sort of I think they moved yeah. shit around on a storyboard like, well, well, this will work. And then like mm-hmm. changed it around. Yeah. A bunch of but times. like even that there was there was that fire sequence that the, the campfire sequence where it was just two shots of them talking to each other. 
And it could have been a great opportunity for them to put that bar scene within it. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? And kind of flash back because that would have been way more interesting than just those two shots going back and forth. Um, Like there's a, there's definitely a good movie here. Like I enjoy, I enjoyed it way more than I thought it would. It was a great palate cleanser from Titanic. Believe me. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I, like even the even the opening credits, I feel like I feel like they were looking for like some sort of like uh, a twenty four distribution or something. It felt like an a twenty four movie, like especially with the music too. Um, I feel like the cues with the score weren't good in the first act, but towards the end of the movie, they knew what they were doing and it felt good. Like there were a couple of jump scares too, and like it was it was it was good beats. Um, even though the Wendigo, like they, they were go- with the Wendigo. So obviously it was a guy on four legs in a, <laughs> in a skin suit. Um, but like, they kind of played it like a Jaws thing where you don't see it very much. You know, they don't, you know, even with those eyes, like that's, that's the scare. It's not the actual monster. Um, so I kind of appreciated that in that sense. Um, but yeah, and and the actors, I mean, I get, like obviously they're new, but like, um, I feel like they were they were fine. I didn't like the guy's dad because in the beginning he had this he he like exposed some ex- exposition about like the Wendigo, and it was a shot that was like lower and didn't have really much weight. You know, no one really gave a fuck. They didn't show that anyone gave a fuck, and. Uh, I feel like they could have, like, the first act of the film just has so much wrong with it. But, like, I really like the, uh, I really like the last half of this movie. It ruled. Yeah. Right on. Well, what's your rating? That's it. Um, I'll give it a seven. I also like, I also like the line when uh, he was in the therapist's office and he was like, is the wind dingo with us right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it was, it was there. Yeah, it was yeah. There. yeah, yeah, and it was, yeah. All and right. this also uh, makes me never want to try peyote because I've never tried it. And it, yeah, I don't want to uh, feel like I killed my best friend. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Yeah, yeah no, I'm good. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. Right on, uh, Jean Paul. What's your thoughts? Here, here's my hot take on this. Hot take and hot take. Um, <laughs> I thought this movie was just all right. I feel like we've seen this kind of setup cliche before of guys hiking and going out and doing these kind of things. It's good. It's a good one. Eh, yeah, but after a while, you've seen <laughs> you know, it. a lot of one. <laughs> and, 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 and and again, it just kind of, now, like Dave said, you threw in the drug element and that was cool, but they used it too much as a crutch. And I think that was my biggest problem is because they kept going to let, let's make this incoherent just to make it incoherent because this mm-hmm. guy's on a drug trip mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so much so that that ending or, or even even before the ending when you get that other weird jump scare just to throw in a jump scare that made no sense and then you throw in the very very finale that it's like was it real wasn't it and the whole going back and forth just kind of got old really fast um, and that, like I said, I didn't totally hate this movie, but I felt like, okay, we've seen this kind of shit before. The lore was really neat. Um, definitely the shadow aspects in the pictures themselves and seeing that kind of stuff, super fucking cool. The creature, I know you're all raving about it, but it yeah. really, <laughs> were we raving? I, yeah. Okay, fine. You're liking it probably more than my, me. For me, it just looks some guy decided to put like a giant fucking rubber condom suit and go <laughs> you know it, it just i don't know it did suck it, it did like definitely, but I'm, yeah. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt yeah it did and, definitely and, look better than anything that happened in titanic six well no i understand <laughs> oh, that wow. i understand that. again a different yeah. studio different, we, our, different our, you know and maybe d- Dave, Dave, the roof. <laughs> yeah, no, I, i'll give you that yeah it probably is a this this movie is probably a four or five but 
It's a yeah. seven or eight coming off. The <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> what I'm saying is, okay, we're we're I'm I'm looking at it as its own thing, not comparing it to what we what we're comparing the the, the other. No, movie but it with. was well shot though. It, it was, was well kind of well shot. You you got a point there. Extremely and, and well shot. D- Dave, like you said, it gives you that A24 feel. But the problem with lately A24, what A24 is doing is they're taking ideas that we know and love and giving us member berries and then adding some artistic take on it. I'll give a great example. John, how, how good was X? I liked X. Randy, how good was X? That. that was fucking horrible. But okay, Do you see my point? Oh. this is my <laughs> this is my point of A twenty four and what they're doing. They're taking either member berries that you know and love and the same cliche <laughs> over and over that you've seen. Now before. hold on, jump they, ball. They, they hold on, jump ball. They are not There's filmmakers. a different way to look that at is, this. Filmmakers. That was two to one. There's a different way to look that at this. Two to one. Before we get all, the, they're doing the same thing. Yeah, and, and adding a fresh coat of paint. No, now I'm imagine. Just saying it felt now like that. imagine if. A restaurant was like, you know that hamburger you guys all like? Well, we fucking did it great. And then they did it better <laughs> than anyone's ever done it before, but it's still just a fucking hamburger. But you're still gonna eat hamburgers, aren't you? Because I'm uh, again it, it, I'm not saying <laughs> that I'm not. I'm not <laughs> but, saying that I'm not. You're saying but, it's the same thing that's always been done, but yeah, but, but in we, this uh, movie, some of us want that shit. Like no, I agree, <laughs> and I agree me, with you. I give me a million but in this massacre movies. It's a postmodern take. On okay, it give like, you. A, did you see X, Frank? No, I don't pay okay. for mo- movies. Okay, <laughs> when you get a chance to see X, I'd love your take on it. I have um, a feeling, based on what I've read about it, that I will like it. Okay, but Frank is the like TV shit. ambassador. I like shit. So like, yeah, no, I I agree with you. You know, but, like but again, I like that same shitty microwave massacre sandwich served up to me over and over and over <laughs> exactly again. give me that same shit it, it, that i exactly. like exactly the member but, berries comfort feel but but, but we're, we're finally but living in an thing, age though. like i know but we're finally <laughs> living in an age where we've got so much variety and well, so much yeah, stuff that we can bad, choose though. from yeah and a lot of bad stuff don't get me wrong i am notoriously i i, mean, I pick titanic you six, six, six. You I, ser- I, I served you guys a, 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 a shitty fucking burger. Yeah. I get it. Sir, shit, bear, shit yeah. berries. I get. I serve berries. Like, like, but like, berries. Like, but like if I, yeah. you know, I love a peanut butter milkshake. I'm never gonna not have one and be like, I'm never gonna have one and be like, this is still a fucking peanut butter milkshake. I'm gonna be like, it's good every goddamn time. <laughs> every time I get it, it's fucking delicious, and I'll have this until it's not the right kind it? of peanut butter. No, I don't care. Peanut butter is okay. peanut butter to me. Peanut butter is peanut butter. Okay, That's fair what enough. I'm saying. Like, That's make the, the peanut butter from a different farm. Get the, get the peanuts from someone right. else. But, but, Jean Paul, what, what did you think? Like, what was your rating then? My I, rating in this movie? Yeah. I, 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 I give it a five out of 10. And what did Again. you give? It's not, so it's better than Titanic. Oh, yeah, it's 5. better than Titanic. Yeah, it's 4.5 <laughs> better. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Again. Wow. Uh, again. Oh, uh, but 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 again, we are. I, I'm I'm looking at this as in this is my individual take right. of this movie. I am not comparing yeah. it to Titanic six six six. This is completely different take. Uh, but again, do I wish there was things in this movie? Uh, yes, uh, the ambiguous thing is fun, but they play too much with it. They, they it's kind of like okay, here's some drugs, friends. Here's some drugs. Take a little sip. The other guy just fucking guzzles the fucking thermos of drugs. Right. That's I have cool. friends I mean, like that, though. I have, I have I mean, friends like come that. come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to guzzle the fucking drugs. He should have had a seizure most, or something. Yeah, the the exactly. Unbelievable, <laughs> the most unbelievable thing I thought about this was people go recreational hiking. Like, it wasn't like <laughs> something else. You know what I mean? Like, why didn't they have a snow? Why didn't they? Right, right. And and I don't know how many people want to go hiking on their fucking pets. Or skiing. Or skiing. Like, I would, like, that's the thing. Like, they were just recreational hiking. And that guy saw a lake and was like, this is a fucking lake. Yeah. And, 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 you know, my my, my other favorite thing was when the movie felt like it was starting to get slow or boring. Then they're just like, "Hey, Lee, remember that 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 annoying drug addict guy? Let's him, <laughs> let's throw him back in yeah, to this yeah, movie exactly. for good laughs to make it more interesting." Yeah, that that interesting. Was the worst, it was just, he was the it worst was, character. It was yeah. for comic yeah. relief. Yeah. It, it was for comic good, relief. Right. It was like, "Hey, my buddy's got drugs in his house. Let's yeah. go." Yeah, do you want to hit dude. this? Do you want to hit this man? But no, the thing thanks. About, no thanks, guy. The thing about the drugs, about the whole drugs of it, is they didn't even need them. 
Because, no, they didn't. Because the Wendigo had abilities to control people's minds mm-hmm. anyway. No, but I, I think agree that's with you also 100%. the point. That was the thing that I felt like the drugs were the crutch of this movie. Right, but that's exactly right. The drugs were because, like, cryptids are fictional creatures. I mean, have you guys seen a Wendigo? You know what I mean? So it has to be infused by drugs or peyote or whatever the fuck they were doing. I saw you one know? at Walmart. Like that was... <laughs> you did? <laughs> well, that's just a girl that doesn't know section. how to dress at Walmart. It was in the pants section. It was in the yeah. pants section. He's buying some uh, stuff. Her name, her her name, her name some was Wendy. slacks. Her name was <laughs> Wendy. Wendy, go. Wendy, go. Wendy, go. They were yelling at her. They were yelling, Wendy, go. Get out of Wendy the slack. Go. Wendy, go. Get, get on out of here. Wendy, go. I just but, but, but again, I didn't hate this movie by any means. The no, end. The see. ending was kind of like, okay. But I did think it was hilarious to just put that cheesy, corny music at the very end. The, the ending Christmas was ditty. really... The like, fa- what is face, going on? The face the guy makes, the whole way they wrap it up is really... <laughs> really i mean that i i think they had a release date at some point that like had a christmas ending you know what i mean like and it probably got delayed because of covid or something and that's why i feel like uh, yeah like even even titanic i feel like they just found a fucking cruise ship and fucking shot in it just because it was covid and no one was using no they shot it they shot it on the queen the queen Queen Mary. mary yeah yeah, but it was also probably during the pandemic where they couldn't. No, no, no. This film was done like way, way before. Oh God COVID. damn it! Oh man, it was probably yeah, in two thousand three. Yeah. All right, let's <laughs> never talk right. about it again. How about that? Yeah, let's okay. not, go. Yeah. There you go. I would Next. rather. I admit, Next. Next. I admit, Titanic six 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 was yeah. not good. One hundred percent. I agree you. with you guys. It was funny because okay. when I put the yeah. trailer on TikTok, there was one person that was like. Who, why would anyone watch this? And I, I wrote back <laughs> for fun, and I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> and I was wrong. Yeah. No, I kind of like punishing people, though. It's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> serving. I'm serving. sorry. Serving. I, I, always, serve. serving. I always feel real bad when I pick something shitty for this show. No, Me too. So, no. uh, <laughs> but uh, no. let's let's get into some horror trivia. This is a little different. I didn't pull sound clips this time. This is all tagline so i'm gonna say the tagline and if you know the movie go ahead and say it out loud uh up first for god's sake get out amityville Horror. amityville damn john all john had it john there. i think i think there's something wrong with your mic you what? need to mute it, uh, john, it was, <laughs> yeah yeah what? it yeah, was man. very close <laughs> mute your mic john. Oh, there might be a lag um yeah this uh, is country internet then because uh, John, give Jason a couple beats. <laughs> All right. Yeah, give, me a, give me the point. Oh, Jason, I'm trying to get points. Point. Points. Finish and it just one point, one point for John, two points for Jason. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. yeah, that it's because he's bullying me again. Uh, <laughs> number two. Uh, <laughs> uh, number two here. A bitch of a werewolf movie. Howling oh, three, how, uh, Howling two, nope, no, uh, no. Uh, American one? Werewolf in Paris, American Werewolf, Ginger Snaps, nope. It's not Ginger Snaps, no. Uh, Dog Soldiers, there you go, right? Debbie oh, does oh, Dallas. That's, right. that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. Uh, it's coming out on four K soon. <laughs> Sweet number three here. Uh, do you know anything about witches? Suspiria. No idea. There you go. Hit it. Ooh, good night. Night. This one's gonna be. I'll be interested to see who gets this one. He's not clowning around. Blood Booty harvest. Tank. It's not blood harvest. Terrifier. Nope. Wait, wait. What's, what's the one again? He's not, he's not clowning around. He's not clowning around. Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD. No, he's it's- definitely <laughs> cleaning. <laughs> uh, it- clowns from outer space. Clown. No. no. I- Chucky? <laughs> no. no. Oh, I don't, I, I, I this is kind of a deep cut. It's Killjoy. Anybody who's seen Killjoy? Oh, uh, I've heard of it. I figured the clown would have got you to it at some point. Uh, <laughs> number five, his fear began when he woke up alone. His terror, ter- terror began when he was... Re- re- God damn it. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that one up. Uh, his, um, his fear... 
his fear began when he woke up alone. His terror began when he realized he wasn't. 28 days later. Damn, he got it. Oh, nice. Good job, Jay. That's wow. a great movie, too. All right, here's another Dude, one. That was, that was good so good. It's been a while since I've watched those. I That's love that great. movie. Those are great. Danny Boyle. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Turning Dave Vaughn over there. Uh, <laughs> watch oh, Pistol yeah. if you like Danny Boyle. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I mean, train spotting, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Um, beneath those manholes, a man eater is waiting. Chud. 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 Chud, Chud two. Uh, Chud three. Manholes? The alligator. Alligator. There you go. I don't Fuck know if it was. I, I believe I said it before. Boxley. I think it was John Paul. <laughs> yeah. I just I just watched that tonight for the first time. Right How'd before. you like it? Did you like it? it? Was it hold up? Oh, I loved it. That I was got so the 4K fun. of it. It looks great on 4K. Oh, it's, it was the first time you saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, because I watched that back in the and, day, uh, and I can't remember if alligator it was good or not. Alligator 2 is going to be the next one. Jason, yeah. you're not going to like Alligator too. 2 as much as you like the first one. I, right. I watched the trailer. I understand. I'm just letting <laughs> you know. <laughs> the budget's not there. I'm already prepared. <laughs> Dee right. Wallace is there, though. That's true. <laughs> uh, let's try uh, this one. By pick, by axe, by sword, by by. Oh, shit. Oh. The Mutilator. Oh. Yep. Damn it. God. <laughs> it's Let's right see. on that. You see it right on that. Right on that. Cover. Yeah, right on the poster. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, okay, here's, uh, here's another one. Got Creep. Got Creep. Creep? Creepers, Creepers. Nope. Got um, Creep. Got Creep. Is it Phenomena? Is it creep? No. Is Radiohead? It no. <laughs> that's a radio head Um, is it creep van no oh it is i don't know creep show three oh Oh. Ah. that (laughs) one's awful yeah i know i just wanted to hear the groan i don't think i've ever seen that Uh, i wouldn't watch it it's very bad if you ever had it for a while didn't they I'm not sure. I yeah. rented it. I rented it on DVD back when it came out, and good God, um, if you thought that Tales from the Hood two was bad, watch Creepshow three and oh, appreciate. Wow. It. Oh, awesome. then I should watch it. I like Tales from the Hood two, two. Yeah, no, all, two? all of them. I'm done. <laughs> How about Left uh, Run in the Hood two? Uh, That's a good one, one. One's good. <laughs> all right, here's another they're all, one. They're uh, all fire. The blood confrontation of ages is about to begin. Dracula? Close, but no. Blade? Dracula Untold? No. Nope. No. Dracula, Dracula 2000? Say it again. Say it the, again. The blood <laughs> confrontation of the ages is about to begin. Blade 3? No. Blade. We're saying Blade. <laughs> Blade 2? <two? laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, John Carpenter's Vampires. Oh. oh, Los Muertos. Oh. That Forgot was the sequel to that, that one. Same, same director. Um, here's a here's a good one. Uh, who made who? Um, Maximum Overdrive. Yep. Damn you, John. <laughs> Fuck you, John. <laughs> there's another oh, one. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Something has found us. Something has found us. The thing. No. Leviathan. Oh. Nope. The deep. Nope. Cocoon? Nope. <laughs> this is a found footage movie. Debbie Does Dallas. No. Oh, uh, oh no. Oh, the, my God. I the know Bla- I- Jason oh. hasn't guessed yet. The Blair Witch? Oh, nope. No. I don't, I don't know. No, what the fuck uh, is it, it called? Wait, is it... Um, uh, Sinister? Cloverfield? Yeah, no. There you go. Ray got it. It's Cloverfield. Mm. Oh. Oh. Okay, here's another one. This one's going to determine who you are as a human. Uh, he's not from around oh, here. Yeah. He's not from around here. Anybody who knows this has watched some weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's not from around here. It's a movie starring Randy Quaid, I believe. I can't think who else is in it. Inner Space? No. No. Uh, Mac and Me? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't think I of who know, else man. is in it. I'm thinking of weird aliens. I don't know. Uh, maybe Charlie Sheen's in it too. The the wraith. There you go. 
Oh, ah, yeah. yeah that's John. Oh, wow. John. Well, he said Charlie Sheen. Yeah. He said Charlie isn't, Sheen. And isn't I was like, Randy, Randy Quaid's in that too, right? Isn't he? I don't know. Is he? Oh. oh. I know the, Clinton the Howard's in it. I, I, I think you, we, can't, we can't award the point to that one. You didn't give us the proper question. <laughs> well, the tagline is what you're working with. I, was, well, uh, I don't have to give you clues. I could just sit here <laughs> like an idiot. But, uh, <laughs> uh, here's another one. Uh, oh, yeah. Every, he, oh, oh, he was oh, the oh. sheriff. Uh, everybody okay. dies. Everybody dies. More recent movie. We've reviewed it on the show. I don't I was uh, John, say, I scream, know that tagline. John wasn't with us when we reviewed it i don't believe i think it's like season one or something like that oh it's oh wait wait Never, you're, I, you're opening up the tv now no our first season oh, oh the first oh, okay. season yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what i was like Every, Come on, everybody man. dies everybody dies is the tagline i, I can't i don't know okay murder like party that. it's murder party Oh no, I, I haven't even seen that. Uh here's another one. Put your party face on. Night of the Demons? Got it. Yes. Oh, that was a <laughs> guess. This is a long one here. This it's is fun. So fun. This is a funny is one. Fun. Uh fun. say come and he's there. Say fetch and he has it. Say sick him and all hell breaks loose. Which match? Fido. Fido. Uh, nope. No. Ooh. No, you sure? Which <laughs> Man's two? best friend. There you go. Oh, that's a great movie. Oh, uh, was okay. it? Man's, Man's best, best friend. You got it right. Oh, I, I got it. Oh, yeah, fuck off, it. John. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, seriously. Oh, I, I was right. Oh, I, I did. I didn't know. No, I didn't oh, I didn't know. <laughs> no, I'm I thought, sorry. I maybe me and John Paul both said something at the same Are we time. Still I, playing? Thought I didn't even know. We were <laughs> <playing>. <laughs> oh, 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 I was oh. just saying things, and then. It, <laughs> um, uh, here's another one. Uh, little girl, big psycho. Little girl, big psycho. Psycho, psycho Gorman. Oh, he got it. John Paul got it. Oh, okay. I love that movie. Oh, here's a so good one. Thank God someone else got it than John. <laughs> here's a good one. Run from this man. Run from this man. Forrest Gump. No. I forgot. That's be good. <laughs> <laughs> Run from this man. The tall man? No. It might be on a poster behind Jason, honestly. <laughs> God damn it. Maniac? Uh, Jason. It is Maniac. <laughs> 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 it's right above yeah. his head, but I don't think that's the tagline. No, it's on no, it's... I warned you not to not to go out tonight. Yeah, yeah. see, there's a few of them. So. All, right. Yeah, All right. I, I, I just, don't. I don't know. Run from. I'm this just man. happy because I beat John. Run three from times. this man. It reminds me of whatever that was. That movie. Boo this man. Boo this man. Boo this man. Oh, well, that's uh. That's half baked. Half baked. Oh, yeah. 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 Boo John this Stewart. Man. Oh no, no, it wasn't no. Dave. Dave yeah. Chappelle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, no, John uh, Stewart was in no, that but part. Was John it? Stewart was in the in the. Oh uh, no, he was in Jersey. See the twenty dollar like bill. He went to yeah, like. I think of Bob Narcotics. Saget. I think. Yeah, that it was Bob Saget. And and the guy who says "boo this man" actually used to be no, on uh, like, the Real Saget. World. Uh, one of the Sorry. Real World episodes. His name's Dave something. <laughs> All right. Let's oh, okay. Let's I actually with, know stupid shit. Got, got a few more of these here. Uh, gather around the campfire to die. Sleep away, camp. Mad man. Night, uh, Friday the 13th part three. Heavy weights. No. I have no idea. <laughs> the burning? Got it, John. God damn Ooh. it, John. Here's another one. John, I want to steal your shirt. What? That you... <laughs> I just got this. I know. I like it. <laughs> Is that one behind you too, Jason? Uh, I, I, yeah, but it's not that. I can't read it, but it's not. That's a long one up there. I can't read it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I fall asleep. Here's another one. <laughs> you know, yeah. he, he does what he reads. Uh, here's another one. Uh, you'll go there on a bus and come back in a bag. You'll go there on a bus and come back in a bag. Sleepaway camp. Got it. Oh. I was going to say the bang bus. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Wow, you watched some weird ones, huh? There's some weird episodes. Yeah, no. Bang bus. Six. The bang bus. Yeah, that's, bang that's bus. not the bang one. Bus tracks. <laughs> You won't be coming home. Is what's on the, the uh, yeah? There's poster. there's a few of those for that movie. Um, uh, she walks, she talks, she kills. Uh, Frankenhooker. 
Brian and Chucky. Nope. You're in the right frame of killer, mind. Killer Franken Dolly? Slut. Killer Dolly? An- Annabelle. No, you're, you're very close, John. Annabelle? Dolly. Dolly Pardon? Dearest. Dearest. That's Dolly the Pardon. one. Dolly Dearest. <laughs> Uh, that was an ugly movie. look. That was a creepy looking doll, man. I don't think I've seen that, that a, one. Oh, you I've would really seen, like I, that one. You should check that out. I forget who. I never, I never watched it. it is that, is that, is that a? I think uh, it's Ali Sheedy. No, no, she's not in that. Is right? that a Charles Van? I don't think might so. have been. It's, a, it's not like demonic toys. Though. I think not it's like the that. same company that did uh, Pinocchio's Revenge or whatever. Ooh, I, I love uh, that movie. It was like right around that. <laughs> Someone time find me a out. copy of that. I haven't seen it in ages. Oh, it's probably very expensive. <laughs> I know. Um, it's such a good movie, though. Let the festivities begin. Uh, Krampus? <laughs> yeah. Santa's Slay? <laughs> no. Don't think uh, holiday. That is don't a think, great movie. Don't think holiday. Uh, um, what the festivities? Schindler's List? <laughs> no. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> oh, oh Dave. Wow. Oh, oh, no. You oh. take a shower after that. I <laughs> no? mean no? bastard. Dave just got his <laughs> band on TikTok. Oh my there we go. god. Yeah. Let's play around. <laughs> That was uh, um, Valentine or um, my bloody Valentine. Nope, that is Midsommar. <laughs> oh, Midsommar. nobody cares for that movie. A twenty four. Here's another one: Live Dead Nudes. Hmm. <laughs> Waxwork. <Man>. No, <laughs> I think Waxwork's a little classier than that. <laughs> <laughs> Five Dead Nudes, is that what you said? Yeah, Isn't this movie... there something like uh, Trailer Park Stripper Club or something? You're very close. Uh, zombie this... Strippers? There you go. That's that, awesome. yeah, Robert that England's one. in that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's probably uh... confusing two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm there, beating John. <laughs> there were a lot of In them. my head. <laughs> um, this one's a kind of a deep cut. I, haven't, I, I forgot about this movie, but we'll see if any of you guys can pick up on it. These aren't children. They are demons. Children, children? at play? The children. Uh, beware children. Children the corn. Beware oh, okay. children. Trauma. Yeah. Um, got two more here. He's pure evil, pure power, pure terror. The good son. Wishmaster. <laughs> no. The omen. These are all much better movies than what this actually <laughs> is. Can you repeat it again? He's pure evil, pure power, pure terror. Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> He's pure evil, pure power, pure terror, and purely awful. <laughs> he, play uh... he looks like a Power Rangers villain. Well, I mean, I already said Psycho Gorman. Dr. Dredd? Sort of like that, Dredd? but that way worse. Uh, meat no meat ball idea. machine. Uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Toxic <laughs> event. I love that movie. Uh, we're talking rawhead rex here, guys. Rawhead rex. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's eh. okay. Last one. Who is this man? Uh, the most terrifying ride you'll ever take. Christine. Nope. We're talking Clive Barker here. The most terrifying ride you'll ever take. Let's Hellraiser play. three. Nope. Meet Midnight Meat Train. There you go, Ray. Right. Oh, nice. Damn, good yeah, one. I forgot about that. That's a good movie. Okay. Really, that was Randy's pick on an episode. Yeah, one time a long time ago. <laughs> I really do love that movie. Yeah. Uh, well, I did have a bracket prepared, but we're saving that for next time because it's getting late. Yeah. Um, I got some five word reviews for Hellraiser. That was what I put up on TikTok. So we got uh, Helsing 9013 said, Scared me as a child. Uh, Blood Soup 1978 said, Began an obsession in me. Uh, X Goliath 696 says beautiful use of low budget. Did they have a low budget? Was Hellraiser low budget? Yes, it yeah. was. Yeah, uh, well, sure. sure it was for sure. Seems like those, those makeup designs would have been a little pricey, but I don't know. Great concept, terrible production team from JRZY Diavalo. Uh, your pain will be legendary, Sergeant Octopus. Uh, 
Jared, the autistic superhero, says, still need to watch this film. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. <laughs> he actually did, he actually did watch you. it. The thing that's cool now is people do watch movies that we talk about and stuff. Oh, and oh, um, that's great. on one of our previous uh, versus things, he's like, I need to watch that. And then he messaged me on Facebook and told me that he watched it and he liked it. Uh, oh, nice. So there are people that are paying attention. So also, funny. tell people to watch Titanic 666. Oh, we all said to not, <laughs> to not do that. Absolutely not. Um, uh, Dillweed, uh, Dillweed Idiot, or Dillweed Idiot. <laughs> Did we? Did we? Did it? God bless you. <laughs> that movie is fucking awesome. And Greta Smith says occasionally obtuse, but visually delectable. So that is that. Does anybody have a show and tell they'd like to to show off? I don't have anything. Um, uh, I'm new good ac- this time around. New acquisitions. Oh, yeah. I got, I got a show and tell. Uh, you know he's got I something. Just got, uh-huh. I just got one. I just got one. Uh, blind by girls night out. I love hey. that movie. Nice. Uh, never seen it. Yeah, never, never heard of this movie. It was uh, released as the Scare Maker. Um, Looks yeah. so rad. Oh, it, oh man! It's it's a it's a good eighties uh, fun slasher. Yeah, cool. nineteen eighty two. I mean, we're gonna give it a go. Yeah, that looks right. awesome. But and I um, got this cool trick or treat shirt. Yeah, you got a That's game. You, you got, got a game, game. which cool I'm going to steal yeah. from you. Where did where did you get <laughs> this from? gutter garbs oh nice cool nice. yeah um uh but next month uh we have jason's pick and he picked dave made a maze which uh it looks so, weird weird so, as fuck yeah so i watched uh, uh whoever what is it dave, dave picks the other movie yeah so i watched the trailer mad god I got completely like off the wall and i've always went john's response was the same response to to me picking off Dave's like now I have a reason to watch this. It's been in my right. queue forever. Uh, Always I've, been interested. I'm telling you, I've seen that movie several times, and I'm jealous that I will not be able to join you because I really do enjoy that movie. Oh, that's cool. I've yeah, never it, seen it. It's it's cool. I wouldn't say it's a horror movie, right? Uh, well, yeah, they, but... the 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 filmmakers claim that it is. I mean, they say basically okay. that it is. I mean. Okay. Okay. The, which one, Dave? The Dave one? Yeah. yeah. It oh, looked okay. like it. It gave me just from the trailer. I felt like it gave me like comedy ish vibes. It's yeah. it's more of yeah. a, a comedy than okay than it is horror. But, a dark comedy. But it, yeah, but it's 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 okay. a, it's a twisted like, movie. Gore and um, gore and uh, guts and blood is yeah. replaced with paper mache and and yeah. string and stuff. So they oh, look cool. cool. Yeah. Um, I read a little awesome. bit about it because they said it was an inter- somebody told me it was an interesting uh, production story. Basically, they hired this whole group of uh, cardboard artists, I guess, to to create all these things. And I don't know, Nick Thune's in it. Do you know who he is? Anybody? Uh, I, he's he's, he's uh... stand up comedian Nick Thune. <laughs> yeah. Uh, He's pretty funny. I, I, I'm looking forward to it. I, Frank, it's got puppets, though. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> like it's, it's not. It's not like <laughs> pretending that I don't know that they're puppets. You know, are like, you sure? It's not going to put Vincent yeah, Price. I don't know, man. It's not going to be like here's real life Vincent Price next to a puppet, and we're going to act like this thing works. You know? I mean, Wait, what? I don't know. I don't I mean. Need, you don't know people. yet. <laughs> Regardless, I don't hate every puppet thing. I just think it's fucking trying you're really <laughs> trying hard with yeah, puppets puppets are people, man. you know i mean well. i like meet the feebles but why do i like meet the feebles because it's fucking exploitation because it's, it's peter a, jackson it, it's peter jackson exploitation with puppets yeah. he took puppets and did something interesting with it now i don't need to watch uh whatever the fuck you know i i don't need to explain myself <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm I'm certainly at forty allowed to think puppets are kind of dumb, but you know, uh, I don't know. Hey, uh, maybe my inner child died. Maybe he died. Maybe he caught COVID let last me, year. Let me let me nurture him. Let me nurture. <laughs> nah, man, Frankie, Frank. Frank. Just I'm, needs I'm the member berries. Even there. as a child, though, I was a Mr. Rogers kid, and I thought that the Sesame Street shit was a little dumb. He but what am I? Had he had well, puppets. He had Mr. McFeely and come that was in and also they would dumb. Yeah, I want a man, I, I, I want, like, a man yeah, to talk to me about things. You know, <laughs> I want a man to go, "Hey, look, be kind to your friends." I don't need a puppet to trick me into hey, liking look, things. Like people fight. <laughs> you know? But anyways, well, regardless, uh, we're gonna have a hard time. Next, 
next time. No, um, well, I get a couple of plugs. Oh, he's plugging. I um yeah. So I I like I forgot to mention if you liked the retreat. There's a couple cryptid movies. Uh, my favorite is Willow Creek by Bobcat Goldthwait. Mm-hmm. Uh, he made a Bigfoot movie. That's really that's really really fun. Uh, it's a found footage movie. Um, I I wouldn't say it's. I yo no I would definitely say it's better than The Retreat. But um, and then the other one is Legend of Boggy Creek, which is also another uh, Bigfoot movie made in 1972 and it's it's i've fun. seen it it's really great yeah well if you yeah. if you like that stuff you should try abominable which we reviewed I've a while back one, like there we go that's and a good one that okay one is, oh yeah um, there's some good there's some good ones out there yeah that one's kind of like then, um rear window do you know rear rear window is that what it is is that where the guy's looking across yes that's rear window uh, it's, Alfred Alfred Hitchcock. Hitchcock it's like it's like rear window but instead of watching someone murder or whatever happens in that movie, he's watching uh, a Sasquatch attack people from a uh, wheelchair so- across the street. So it's it, he, he sees a woman get pulled out of a bathroom window, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got it's got a uh, who's it's got um uh, uh fuck who's in it? There's like a uh, oh god reanimator. Uh, I know he, he uh, Jeffrey talk, Combs. He Jeffrey Combs. Me. Jeffrey Combs is in it. He's got these big thick glasses, and he has a hilarious discussion with the dude from near dark what's his name uh lance hendrickson uh about um oh, a, wow. guy, a guy winning the what's that award you win when you <laughs> kill yourself doing something stupid uh what do they call the it the darwin, darwin award, award? Yeah. Darwin award. Yeah, yeah. the whole story <laughs> about how a guy stick, stuck his hand up an elephant's ass or something like that i can't remember what it oh, was cool i can't remember what it was but it, it was Bigfoot in it or yeah is it, it just, yeah oh, okay it looks kind of like a have you ever seen a picture of a, a tiger with down syndrome yeah. <laughs> it kind of yeah. looks like a bigfoot with yeah. down syndrome a little bit I'm, i mean cool. i'm just saying no, comparatively I've seen that picture on the internet. you know that's not a real picture yeah. right yeah. no um, totally i don't care if it picture. is or not okay i mean i'm no, just totally saying if, if everyone has that frame of reference yes what i'm talking about so good they, <laughs> there's also <laughs> another great movie called What's jack the frost other <laughs> I was saying that's what the Sasquatch looks like in the, in that movie. Well, I was thinking Smallfoot by uh, what the Warner Brothers animated movie, like that's the best scripted movie. Yeah, or yeah, Littlefoot. Littlefoot, Littlefoot with LeBron James. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, yeah. Le- LeBron yeah. James. Is I was test, just uh, thinking. I was thinking about weird cryptid movies, and I was like, wait, there's there's one about a yeti. Like, <laughs> like, what's the, it's what's the next pick? Um, um, I. I have uh, I have another plug. So since we're doing Phil Tippett's movie next time, um, he was on WTF with Mark Marin, and he did a full hour just talking to him. Uh, it was really awesome. There was a lot of like points. Like Phil Phil Tippett's a master. Like he he he's a monster maker. You know, he's a Rick Baker. He's a Stan Winston. He's a Dennis Marin. Like. And uh, yeah, that that podcast was just awesome. Like, even if you don't like Mark Marin, I would still check it out because Phil Tippett's on. So, yeah, he, I know that that Mark Marin could definitely use a push from this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Not a lot of people uh, know about it. But <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that he was on there. No, but... like specifically, he was there last week, and the the talk he had with them was really like poignant and and fun. And uh, I want to give t- I want to give Phil Tippett the uh, the uh, the the dedication. <laughs> he's you see that? What are you doing? You see that picture of the Bigfoot here? It's not the greatest. Oh, yeah. oh that's foot. it. Yeah, but yeah. It's, a, it's a decent movie. Oh, it looks even worse there. Oh, uh, that, no, yeah. that one's cool. <laughs> that one's cooler. Like, it, you don't want to pause it. You know. <laughs> Still shot. Still yeah, it's not like that. You know, they, you only really see it a couple of times. I want to see if they got Jeffrey. Oh yeah, look at him. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. <laughs> yeah, he's he's funny in that. But yeah. yeah um. Anyways, guys, that's an episode. Um. All right. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. It's good, good to night, see you guys. Everyone. Yep. Yeah. Good to see you guys. Good night. Later. Take her easy.